Today, we're going to try to taste some new Coca-Cola soda type things that I've never, ever seen before in my life. Like, I legit have some Fanta down here that I ordered on the internet that I don't even know if it even exists. I don't even know if it's legitimately Fanta. So I want you guys to tell me down in the comments below if you've ever seen this soda that I'm drinking today because it does not exist in Denmark, at least not to my knowledge. And if you guys want to see more of these videos, where I taste weird stuff hit that like button down below also if you are at all new to the channel hit that subscribe button click that little bell down below to join the crazy family notification squad we have a good time over here I don't why did I say it like that hey guys Craner here and uh, yeah you guys heard the intro we're gonna try out some new coca-colas and Legitimately, some of these do scare me. I'm looking at them down here. Like, they look so weird, some of them. I'm, I'm actually I'm actually scared to try some of these. And I know that's kind of weird. Crater, it's just soda. Well, I ordered it online. You never know what people do to stuff they sell online, okay? You generally, don't trust the internet that much. <laughs> kind of scared. Okay, so we're just gonna start with something completely weird, first of all. Uh, the first one is a cucumber. Wait, let me see if you guys can see this. It has cucumber, it has mint, and it has apple in it. So it's a cucumber apple mint soda. I mean, I like cucumber, I like apple, and I like mint. I don't know if I like them together, though. That's the question. I especially don't know if I like them in a freaking fizzy drink. Like, what is that mix, dude? Okay, maybe it's really good. Who knows? You, you never know. All right, I'm just gonna open it. Here we go. Opening that. Okay. It's hot. To okay. What does it smell like? Ew! It smells straight up like this raw cucumber, dude. <laughs> I like cucumber. It's just a very odd smell to have in a drink that fizzes just like Coca-Cola does. Like, this is a hydro hy hypernated, hy hydronate, hy it has that fizz in it. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, cucumber, mint, and apple soda. Let's go. No. That just. Oh, it's still. <coughs> that was like drinking a straight up pickle with fizz in it. This is basically just pickles made into soda. And trust me, pickles on their own, fine with me. Pickles when it fizzes and you have to drink it, not fine. That was terrible. Ew, dude. I feel like I'm gonna taste that forever now. That was the worst. Cucumber soda. I do not recommend it. Let's go on to the next one. That was so bad. That should be a challenge at some point. At some point, I'm gonna challenge one of my friends to drink a whole one of those. Because I have a lot of them in my fridge now. I thought they would be... I actually thought they would surprise me. But now I just feel violated for trusting cucumbers and mint and apple sodas. Never trust those. So I feel like a lot of my American viewers have probably seen this soda before. It's a Jolly Rancher cherry soda. It looks... It looks so toxic. I, I bet this one tastes good though. Because at least it isn't freaking the cucumber, mint and apple soda. I bet this one is delicious, but I have never ever tried it before you almost can't even get a hold of jolly ranchers in denmark i actually don't even think they sell it anywhere in a shop in denmark when i've had it it's been from amazon so this one is the cherry one right and yeah, this one is the cherry one cherry soda jolly rancher and as i said it's probably not that weird to some of you guys but this is my first time ever tasting it so let's just there okay all right oh <laughs> That smell, dude! Holy crap! It just smells like straight up cherry extract. But I bet it's actually... I, I think this one is gonna be way better than the pickled pickles soda that I just had. So, um, Jolly Rancher Cherry Edition. First time ever trying it. I know it's probably normal to you guys, but to me, it's something new. So... Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. It just tastes straight up like a, like a liquefied Jolly Rancher. That's actually really good. Holy crap, dude. Oh, my mouth is watering. How does it even taste like that? Dude, you Americans are on to some magic over there. I'm telling you, dude, this is... And I have some other ones, too, that I haven't tried. This one is really good, though. The cherry one. I can definitely recommend it. Not sponsored, by the way, as if that wasn't clear enough. It does kind of match. Okay, no, it doesn't match my hair color at all. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. And I think most of you guys have not seen this one before because this one is weird as well. Blue bubblegum flavored soda. I don't even know how blue bubblegum is supposed to taste. So I can't even guess how it's going to taste in a soda, dude. It just seems weird. <laughs> and also, it kind of looks like a straight up science experiment. Like, look at this. That's a straight up science experiment right there, guys. Blue bubblegum. Well, I've always wanted to know what blue bubblegum tastes like. This is called Jones. I'm not sure if this is an American thing. I mean, I can't really see anything on it. No, I don't, you guys have to tell me down in the comments. I for sure haven't seen it before. Oh, listen to that. Doesn't that sound good? Okay. Can I open it? It's not gonna explode. Okay, I, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, I can't, I can't smell it yet. I'm kind of scared of this one. It looks toxic, dude. Like, these colors are absolutely intense. Like, look at that. It's just straight up drinking blue. I guess it's blue bubble gum. Ooh. It, it actually smells like bubble gum. If, it, I don't know if I'm gonna like a straight up bubble gum soda, though. What? 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 Dude! That's like drinking liquefied bubble- Oh my! That's the weirdest thing I've ever- It's- It's, it's not bad. It's just like drinking straight up bubble gum. Holy crap, it tastes exactly like bubble gum. I mean, it's actually pretty good, but I'm kind of scared for my health when I'm drinking it. It can't be healthy if it tastes like this. It just tastes straight up like melted bubble gum. Oh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed by that. I didn't think it was going to taste like bubble gum at all, but at least it wasn't freaking pickles. Oh, that pickle drink really, I, I hate it. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that none of you guys have had this drink before. It's called like Kimura Ramoon. I, I have no idea what this is, but apparently at the top right there, there's a thing that you have to empty out into the water in order to make it taste like you want it to taste. It even has like a little direction as to how you can open this thing. It's apparently from Japan, I think. Has a bunch of Japanese letters on it, so that's my guess at least. Let me see if I can figure out how to open this. Okay, so I got the top off. Now the question is, okay, it says right here, how to open, peel off the seal, lift up off the green cap and push down the center to release the opener. Place the opener onto the top of the remove bottle and press down firmly with your palm. I'm guessing that this is the opener right here and I have to press it down into the hole in the bottle. Am I doing it? Maybe, oh! Wait, wait, okay, something happened. Do I just press? Wait a second, I have to do this down here. I have to do it on my table. Ah! Oh! Did you guys see that? Did you hear that? It like exploded and looked just like a little fizzy ball right there. Which I guess is what gives it the flavor and then I just drink it from here. What? There's like a little invisible ball down here, dude. What is that? What? Did I do it the correct way? I s Let me read that again. I think I did it correctly. Like, I don't see what else I need to do. So, uh, drink the really weird Japanese soda. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's really good. That's actually really good, dude. Holy crap. And look, this, the ball is still there just rolling around, which I think is what gives it flavor. But I don't freaking know. <laughs> I'm not an expert at this. So the water like gets up here and then I think it gets flavored by that little ball. 
Dude, that's actually really... That's my favorite so far. Who would have thought, dude? It, it, it was kind of scary to open, though. I'll, I'll admit that, but it, it's still good. Okay, so this next soda also looks like it's something I'm going to enjoy. It's a mango natural flavored soda from... Charitos? Not sure. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of fizzy drinks, okay? Don't don't judge me. I'm gonna have some more of my Japanese soda. That's really good. Anyway, I'm gonna guess that I'm actually gonna like this one because I like mango and it looks really tasty, to be honest. I'm just turning it upside down real quick and um, got my got my bottle opener here. Let's just open her up. Can I? Okay, that's harder to open than I thought it would be. And here we go. The mango has been released. Or something like that. Um, here we go. Some kind of mango flavored. It says mango mango. It's double mango, guys. <laughs> double mango all the way. Did any, anybody remember that meme with the rainbow? No? Okay, just me? Okay. Um, mango. Oh! No, actually, that's kind of weird. The first, the first time it hit my mouth, don't laugh at that. Is it, it was kind of good when it did that, but now it just kind of tastes like old mangoes. Yeah, now it is this good. My favorite one is still the Japanese weird glass ball soda. I actually really like that one. Surprisingly, I thought I thought that would, I, I thought that would be a challenge to drink that one, but that one is really good. Drinking soda all day. I'm drinking soda all day. You good? Okay. Don't explode on me, Mr. Jones. Come on. Okay, got it open, guys. Now, this one is called Green Apple Flavored Soda. And this is from the same company that made that extremely bubblegum-ish tasting soda. So this one is probably going to taste more like green apple than green apples do. Let's give it a go. Green apple. Oh! Wow. <laughs> this really makes my water mouth... But this really makes my... <laughs> this really makes my mouth water, not my water mouth. You see what you're doing to me, green soda? You're messing me up, homie. And again, it looks straight up like a science experiment. That one is actually pretty good. It is. What does this say? Many people are seeking you for worthwhile advice. <laughs> so, so not only is it a good soda... It also gives you life advice inside of the little cap here. Such an such nice people. Drink my soda, you get a compliment. I like that. Thank you for the compliment, Jones. I needed it. <laughs> Strawberry lime flavor soda. This is from the same company, Jones. Apparently, this one tastes like strawberry and lime. Can't wait to calm down, Jones. Wait a second. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway, so the strength in your character will bring you serenity. Oh, they're so nice, dude. Look, it has another little life tip right there. Thank you. It's a fortune cookie and a... I can't drink that many Coca-Colas in a day. I keep burping. I'm sorry. It's like a fortune cookie and a soda combined. Um, anyway. Oh. Oh, this one is good. Makes a lot of noise, though, but it's really good. I think that's my favorite one from Jones so far. Thank you for the fabulous life tips as well, Jones. You're very nice. Very nice individual. And that one is good. Now, this is another Jolly Rancher one. It's the orange one. And I'm guessing that a lot of you guys have also at least tasted this one before. Oh, I can already smell that this one is going to be good. America, you're doing something right once again. Thank you for the amazing soda that I finally get to taste. I bet not a lot of Danish people have tasted this one before, but I have now in a second. Let's go. Oh, wow. Dude, the Jolly Rancher sodas taste so good. I know I'm like sipping it. Like I'm, I'm not really drinking that much of it, but my stomach is literally full of Coca-Cola uh, soda right now. So, oh wow! I think that's even better than the other one. Holy crap, dude! It tastes just like Jolly Ranchers do, and that's a good thing. That's a very, very good thing. <laughs> okay, I sound like I'm a bit obsessed with Jolly Ranchers now. <laughs> I'm not! And we got the grape one right here. Don't worry, guys. In a second, we are going to uh, taste those fantas that I've never had. But look at this. 
It matches my hair, dude. That's great. This one is gonna taste real good. I'm actually not that big of a fan of grape flavored stuff, so I'm probably not gonna like it. I think it just... Oh, wow. That smell is just instantly grape. Holy crap, dude. Maybe I am gonna like this. Who knows, dude? Yeah. Yeah. I can actually dig this. This one is actually good. I do prefer... I think my favorite one is the orange one. And my favorite one throughout this entire video was that weird Japanese one. So that's actually kind of surprising. I thought I was gonna like the Jolly Rancher ones the most. But this one is actually my favorite. How weird is that? The time has come. Fanta Berry. Now that's one of the ones I got. I also got another one that I haven't tried before. But I think that... Some other countries do have the Fanta Berry, so it's probably not weird to you once again. But as I said to the other ones, I, I have never seen this Fanta in Denmark either. Fanta Berry? I've never seen that before, dude. This is probably something that you guys have seen a ton, a ton of times, though I don't doubt it, but... But I haven't. Let's open it up, dude. Okay, it's blue on the outside, and it looks like... Wait, the inside is blue too? Wait, the liquid is blue too? I have to, like, pour this in something and test. Oh, it is actually blue. Oh my God, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to spill it. It's actually entirely blue. Oh my, oh my. Okay, I have to show you guys how blue this is in case you guys haven't seen this Fanta either. This is all blue. Can I show you guys somehow? Yeah, look at that. You guys can almost see it, right? It's all blue. It looks like just drinking straight up soap. Holy crap. Okay, let's try to taste it again. I got like a little tiny sip of it last time. Oh, wow. This is my new favorite. The Fanta Berry. Holy crap, it's good, dude. Why have I never had this before? Why have I never had this Fanta before. What the crap? I feel like I missed out on something. Let's see if the other Fanta is just as good. Because if this one, it's pineapple. Have you guys ever seen a pineapple Fanta? Because I know I haven't. If it's just as good as the berry one, I doubt it, you know? I doubt that the, the pineapple is gonna be as good as the, the berry one. It depends on if you like pineapple more than berries, of course, but I do prefer berries, I think. Yep, that's a, that's a Fanta pineapple. What? I've never, ever heard about Fanta Pineapple. Oh, yeah. This is, this is pineapple for sure. That one is almost better than Barry. I didn't... Wow. Dude, these Fantas are absolutely amazing. What? Why have I never had these before, dude? My mind is actually blown. Oh, you learn something new every day, I guess. Holy crap. <laughs> But anyway, crazy family, that's gonna have to be for today's video. If you guys want to see me taste more weird sodas or if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Also, if you are at all new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Remember to turn on notifications and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!